Wow, has it been a long time? Whew, where do I even start? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bakana, and if you're new here, I create lifestyle and travel vlogs and the occasional flight attendant vlogs. And it's been a while since I've uploaded. I know this. I am sorry. I just had to step away for a little while. And a little while turned into a month. It has been over a month, actually, probably a month and a week. But I'm ranting off on something completely different. So I'm doing this life update to share you what has been share with you what has been going on not just over this month but over the past couple months as you guys know especially by my intro i am a flight attendant i am back in america um a bunch of new stuff so let's get on into it make sure you like comment share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to the people that has continued to watch my videos even though I haven't been uploading. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to start at the, as far back as I can think. Um, I applied to become a flight attendant, I think in September. A lot of places had open applications like American, JetBlue, Delta, United, Southwest, um, where else? I didn't apply to every one of these places now, but I'm sharing like all the things that I see and continue to see if it's beneficial to you. So also Alaska Airlines, um, Frontier, Spirit. I'm seeing all of these people have applications on and off. And I applied to a couple of them, and I have videos of when I went up to Colorado, when I went to Texas for an interview, you know, things like that. When I went to Florida, the time I went to um, Dexter Dapp's concert, it was because of the fact that I was up there for an interview with an airline. And fortunately for me, I got, you know, way into the, the training stages, and then I moved um, from Jamaica back to the U.S., so I had to go to training in Texas for, I think, to this day, I can't even remember right now, six to eight, six to seven, seven weeks. I can't remember how long it was. It was just a good amount of weeks. I think it was seven weeks. Call it there, about six and a half weeks. And I passed training. I did all of those training videos. If you want to check them out, I'll pop up the thumbnails here and I'll leave the links down in the description box. You can also just go on my channel and type in flight attendant. I have quite a few vlogs. But I trained, I filmed all of training and it was just such a fun experience. You know, I passed. That was like amazing. It took, it took a lot. It took a lot of, what is it like? patience a lot of trust in yourself in the people around you especially for people who have kids at home husbands boyfriends girlfriends close family members whatever it may be like it, it takes a lot to to leave your family for such a long time but you you just had to know that you know i'm going for something that will eventually change my life whether it be because they want to travel a lot or make more money or you know just a job in general so yeah that was the interesting part of training and i met so many new people i have so many new friends um a lot a lot more colleagues were twenty seven thousand plus strong so i'm a part of this family now um training has granted me this access to these group of people that i would never have met so you know that experience was just amazing Finished with training, went into the flight attendant life, and I'm here flying all over the world. And if you guys haven't seen, you can go check it out. But I've been to Barcelona. I got the opportunity to go to Colombia. Went with Ashley, and I vlogged it, and she also vlogged it. So check out her channel. Went to London, went to Paris. Um, I got to go to Guyana. I went to so many other places. I went to Cuba. Um, so many cities across America. I've always wanted to go to LA. Got the chance to go to LA plenty of times. Went to, you know, San Diego. Went to, not San Diego. Where did I go to? It's not San Diego. Where is the, um, the Golden Gate Bridge? San Francisco. Went to San Francisco. I went to, 
um, San Antonio. I went to like Nebraska and those places. I'm just like, I'll never, you know, not like that I don't want to go. I mean, now even more so, I really want to go to like places like Wyoming and, and, um, there's this other place that a lot of people really, really love, Seattle. I'd love to, and Alaska. Like, I would love to go to those places now. But I never thought I'd be able to, like, or even have the interest in going to those places. And it has given me such a wider, like, understanding, such a broader understanding of different cities. And, you know, obviously, I'm used to traveling life, like going back and forth from Jamaica to America, Jamaica to America, I've been to Mexico before, been to Germany before, been to Canada before. Like, I'm not new to traveling. It's not like I've never left the city that I was from. I understand it. But I got to go to these smaller places where you're like, oh my God, there's nothing to do here. And when you get there, it's just so full with culture. It may not be something that you're used to, but it's, it's something interesting that you take away with you and you always keep with you no matter where you go. So anyways, I'm on a rant with that. It's just amazing. Um, not only that, but you know, every time that I get to go to these places, I get to go with new people. So this career has helped me so much with navigating different personalities and how people react to different things and just how people work together and so differently at the same time. So ugh, I could do a whole video talking about this. I really can. But yeah, so that's what that's been like. Um, we're in contract negotiations now and we may get a new paycheck. You know, hooray for us, like standing up to this huge umbrella. It's pretty cool and I give everybody a pat on the back we may go on strike that's a whole thing that I'm not ready to talk about because I don't have anything to really share but you can look up information about that um, but that's something that's gonna affect me in the long run cuz child I don't want to get too corporate in here I don't want to get too about a books in here we're talking about a life update so with that being said everything is going great in these six months I'm done with probation um, and I've been working a lot more hours this month. I worked 129 hours like in the air, not even the hours that I spent on the ground commuting, commuting to work, like driving to the airport, um, sitting in between flights. Like if I'm flying from Dallas to San Antonio, sometimes we have like a three hour sit in between that flight. That doesn't really count into the general scheme of my flight time. So I spent 129 hours in the air, only in the air. Okay. That's actually really, really crazy. So I'm tired when I tell you it took everything out of me to get up. I put this makeup on and do this video right now it took everything out of me okay um my hair is growing I don't know if you could tell it got a little body I'm excited about that too uh and I'm, I'm gonna get a car soon it's not the car that I want but it's the car that I'm gonna need to take me to work because I can't keep having mommy take me or taking a train and New York is getting cold it was literally um I think 38 degrees I was in here. I was in Kingston. That's another thing. Let's get back to the update. I've gotten the opportunity to work to Kingston, work back to Jamaica three times. Two of those times, I was the lead flight attendant. So it just, you know, the pride is there. Like, I'm really, really happy. I was so excited. The first time I got that opportunity was during, I was on reserve. So I was assigned that trip and I was just a beyond excited and then the next two times I picked it up because somebody else dropped the trip that's flight attendant talk I can do a whole video if you guys are interested in like you know just the life of a flight attendant and the breakdowns and stuff like that within the parameters of what I can talk about but working those Kingston trips just made me feel so proud <sighs> granted sometimes it was very hectic with boarding and just with some passengers but it made me feel proud because those are Jamaicans. Those are people that I'm familiar with. I know they're going home, whether it be for like vacation, they haven't seen their loved ones in so long. It could have been a funeral, which is, you know, for everybody who's traveling. But I just know too well what it's like being a Jamaican going home. Like, you know, when the plane touched down and you're just so 
happy and you're like, yeah, reach that feeling. That's exactly how I felt even on the jump jump seat working the flights like dang i am here and i'm excited and i'm happy and i got to work it so i was in jamaica getting paid and just living my best life granted i was only there for 16 not even less than 16 hours it still meant the world of a difference to me and i have those vlogs those will be coming up as well Everything that you're seeing after this video happened before I sat down and filmed this update. And now just to like let y'all know, I mean I probably should have put a disclaimer in the beginning of the video. It's going to be a little all over the place. It's going to be a little all over the place. But I'm trying my best to just, you know, talk about everything. Um, I know some of you guys love to ask about the house update in Jamaica. I'm going to touch on it again we have halted work on the house because mommy wants to be there when things are happening materials get stolen workmen doing things they're not supposed to do literally like there is a drawing of the house and you're not doing it according to the drawing the quality isn't good like when you get there you're like what is this this is not what i paid for this is not how it's supposed to look people are telling me say this no bill right that no bill right and quite frankly they're they're telling the truth so mommy would just like to be there when things are being done so if i can be there as well when the house is being decked off because remember you know we basically finished with the um the foundation and the walls um of the ground floor it just needs to be decked off so that's the next thing that's gonna happen um so if i can be there for that i will try my best i'll try to teach mommy from now how to like work her phone camera because the phone camera is amazing so i'll try to teach her some stuff just in case i can't be there but look out for those videos in the next like seven months the next seven months to a year we should start back working on that i have a piece of property as well that i'm gonna work on that's all i'm touching on on this part just stay tuned for those videos check out my tiktok and like I said, stay tuned. It's going to be amazing. And I'm really, really excited for that. Whew. I need to take a breather. This scarf is actually choking me. But the next thing that I want to touch on is relationship. Now, I don't want to get into it. I know a lot of people are going to ask me, how is Chad doing? How is everything going? We are at a very interesting crossroad and i don't know what to say to you guys i don't know what to say to myself i don't know what to say to a lot of people around me because it's just a very weird time in both of our lives so i don't want to get into it y'all gonna send me these questions how he's doing chad is doing fine um that's all i have to say on that and i'm apartment hunting i've talked about that uh quite a lot in my previous videos I'm trying to find somewhere in New York, somewhere closer to the airport because I cannot, cannot keep coming from where I'm coming from. It takes, it takes a little bit of time, but not even just the time, it's the money and the guests that add up and toll and just the toll on your body that it takes to get up early to leave and get to the airport. Even though I have three hours for my airline and where I'm based to get to the airport, it's still it's new york city let's be for real it's new york city by the time you get that call and you have three hours to be there yeah everything have to be packed and ready before like you even get a call so it, it's kind of stressful and i really would like to get an apartment so i'm searching on that and like i said earlier i am trying to get a car i think i've secured the bag it's not the car that i want it's not my dream car but it will get me from point a to point b and that's what's most important now I'm, i keep looking away because when i zone out that's when i when i think so when i'm looking at the camera i'm focused i'm focused on that lens um but i'm trying to think about what else i need to update you guys on um well i'm starting to work on my new year's resolution i'm starting to work on my goals and all these things and you know things that i want to accomplish for next year and places that i want to travel to and i haven't gotten like to go to st lucia barbados um haven't gotten to go to japan yet um but trust and believe next month 
because today's December 1st, start of Vlogmas. But next month, I'm in those countries. So I will be uploading a lot more travel vlogs and not just flight attendant stuff. I'm going to use my time to go explore other cities and other countries and do some proper travel vlog. Get my drone content up. Get, you know, just everything that you remember me being, especially with my Jamaica content. I'm going to try to do that tenfold next year. I'm going to really buckle down and make this what I want and try to get from it what I put into it. And I, I need to put more into it, right? So, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Like, everything else that you may have about you know being a flight attendant please drop them down below a lot of questions you can find on google like flight attendant pay um requirements to be a flight attendant i may touch on that but you can genuinely find those on google the next thing um my airline you can google a uniform you can find it on google um but with that being said yeah mommy's doing great grandma and grandpa are doing great auntie debbie doing great kai doing great um i don't have anything else to say and i don't want to run this any longer than it is i think that's pretty much it um thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe and like i said i can definitely do a part two if i haven't shared as much as i thought you want to know then drop some questions drop some comments and i'll either answer them or if it's really if it's that much more i'll do a part two and guys i'm okay i just need to step away but i'm definitely fine i just i'm tired i'm tired but that's about it bye guys